We back. We back. So look, hold on. We back. This game straight to the point. It don't even shit. It it don't even let you do nothing. No options, no nothing. This game is straight to the point. Sheesh. Shout out Silo Sage with the perfect tweet. It would be awesome though if you actually wrote out Super Nintendo and the year it came out, just so people could really know. Just in case some people don't know what the S S N E S is. Special. The time is not. Oh, hold on, fella. I'm on this. Uh. All right. So I'm seeing who anybody. Okay. All right. So um. We got one task force updated for this. So I'm a um repost it. So I'm a, I'm a post Silo Sage on the Instagram. But like I said, so I was, instead of writing, uh, please write out the full uh game system name, because some people don't know like what a PS2 or the PS3 is, or they they might not know, or like a SNES. I kind of don't even know what a SNES, right? But I know the Super Nintendo, so. Yeah, please make sure you write that out and the year it came out so it could be a perfect tweet. But thank you for the uh, Task Force updating, and I am posting you on the Instagram. Just make sure y'all, um, when y'all Task Force update, you give all the specifics. All right, family. So, um... Y'all know what to do. Send a positive message. Send a positive message to somebody directly in the chat. If you don't want to do that, send a message to the chat so we all can see. Make sure it's positive. And if you don't do that, um, if you don't want to do that, think of a positive thought. Think of some good vibes. Put some good vibes in the air. Think of some positive thoughts. And just think about it. You don't have to write it out. Let's all do that real quick before we start. All right, so look, fam, this game is uh, Super Double Dragon. Um, released in Japan as Return of Double Dragon, Sleeping Dragon has awoke. Um, this is a side-scroller type of game. Released for the Super Nintendo only. It was published by Trey West in North America. And uh, by Technos Japan in Japan. Uh, Super Double Dragon is the fourth council game in the Double Dragon series developed by Technos. Following Double Dragon 3, The Sacred Stones uh, for the Nintendo. So this came out for the original Nintendo. Um, the, the, the last one. The game did not have an arcade release and was made specifically for the home market. This So this game is very special. Only made for the Super Nintendo. This wasn't even an arcade game. 
In 2018, the slightly enhanced Japanese version of Return of the Devil Dragon was re-released by Tomo in Japan and under its Retroism brand in North America. Despite being officially licensed, the release is only guaranteed to work on third-party hardware. So that's why you see that's why I play games on the original system like this. How I'm playing it with the original, you know, because there's gonna be no mess ups besides if the game is just messed up and it's too old. But uh there's gonna be no mess ups. Um Maniki Abumina, who worked as a lead game designer for Super Double Dragon. Uh, published commentary about his involvement in the development of the game in 2004, where he detailed his original plans for the game that he was fully uh, that he was unable to fully realize due to the time constraints. The game was supposed to feature cutscenes prior to boss battles and between stages, as well as a full ending sequence. In contrast to the lack of in-game plot in the retail release. Um. The re return to Super Double Dragon features several significant differences from Super Double Dragon. The title theme and most of the background music was shuffled around. Um, so, you know, this game is very interesting. Um, I'm not too sure about the game rankings on this, but that really doesn't matter. Even though I do respect the people that came before me, it doesn't matter uh, because Lil B... Review, that's the final review, and that's the most important because I'm coming from a place of love and respect. Let's get to this game and play. This game has a very unique feel. It definitely doesn't feel like Streets of Rage. It, it's, it's slower than Streets of Rage, but it feels more heavy. This game definitely feels way more heavier than Streets of Rage. And it has a block, like you could block. I've never seen that in this style type of game. Oh, shit. Fire on me. Yeah, this game has a definitely a heavier gameplay than Streets of Rage. I was expecting this to kind of be like Power Rangers, the movie, right, that we played on Genesis and Streets of Rage. But this game has a whole different feel. Somehow they captured... Damn. And even the uh, computer AI is more advanced in this game. The computer AI, you see, if you jump, they on you. Like, they just not letting you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I will say this game has a very unique feel to it. This game has a very unique feel. And, and, and in a way, it gives the Sega a run for its money. 
like this game seems a little bit more advanced than the Sega. Like it's slower, but for some reason it feels more heavy and advanced. Let me know. What let me know what y'all think. I is 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 the Super Nintendo better than the Sega Genesis? I mean, I don't want to say better, right? But this game like this game feels different. It does. I can't I I, I don't want to I don't I have a personal bias because I grew up with the Sega Genesis. But um I mean, right now, this definitely feels like this is a bit more advanced than the Sega Genesis. Like, like you see, like, the hair moving, the movements with, with the stick, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, like, the... The computer AI is blocking, like the computer's blocking itself. Like you see the computer's blocking? Like Sega, I don't think the AI is blocking except like the bosses. The bosses are like the only ones that are blocking. And this is a two player game. Skate with the new subscription. You see, even if you got the stick, the computer AI is just not letting you just. Wow. Yeah, this game is more advanced than like the Sega's like Streets of This game is more advanced than Streets of Rage. But Streets of Rage is more fun. I'm Well, I can't say which game is more fun. Streets of Rage is a little more fun, but this game, it feels like technically is more like, it's a little more realistic. Like, I, I, it's just more heavy. It's a bit like Streets of Rage, the game just feels light. Like the weight of the game. And I'm not saying the physical cartridge, but the gameplay, just the gameplay of like, it feels light. Um, Even like Power Rangers, the movie, it felt different from uh, Streets of Rage. Or then when we played like the Ninja Turtles game, right? That was on arcade. That had like a different type of feeling. So I guess all the games do have a feeling. But this game definitely, for this kind of being like this first style game I'm playing on Super Nintendo of this type of style. This, I am impressed because I did, I you know... I, I really didn't know what to expect with the Super Nintendo. And um I kind of was just thinking like, hey, this is gonna be just like a Nintendo's version of Sega. But this has its own feel to it. I mean the controllers obviously feels different. There's a bunch more buttons. You know, it, it, everything just I'm but what's really standing out to me is the computer AI. Like this this game is hard. And, and it's crazy to me, it's like, dude, this is the second game in a row where I'm like, dude, like, there is, like, th there hasn't been any health, like, where's the damn health upgrades when you need them? There, I haven't seen a damn, uh, a life, you know, upgrade. Look at this, this is, I mean, come on. So at least we have credits. So I give this game some slack. There is credits, which is awesome. So that's more points. Yeah, this game, something. I, I, I think this game might even have better graphics than the Sega. What do y'all think? This game might have better graphics than the Sega. Or something's di like the motion graphics or something. Like, something's up. Like, this game just is more heavy.
and the different characters in this game is interesting like they seem to switch it up it's not like streets of rage where you see like five of the same type of guy or girl or they this game's this game is a vibe something's different you know well yeah I, I mean at least they got different color pants you see like these dudes are the same but yeah i mean the pants are different colors etc etc I might be hard on the Sega Genesis right now, so let me let me know if I'm being a little rough on the Sega Streets of Rage. This game is it just has such a different feel. I wasn't expecting it. Like this game is much slower and it's heavier. Fam, the, 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 the computer AI in this game is crazy. But this game is definitely slower than um, Streets of Rage. But I respect it because this game, I feel like it wants you to use the block. Because of like the level of difficulty in it, it's like you almost need to block in this game. Like, Sega Genesis, you usually could just kind of evade it. This game, you actually need to block. And this is like, that's a first. But it doesn't seem like you can throw in this game. So that's, that, that's, that's interesting. Like, you don't, you can't throw. And that was something like in the Sega and the Streets of Rage you could do. Even the Power Rangers. And I believe Ninja Turtles you could even throw. Once you got like really close to them. Okay, so there's something going on. That that was something. That was a first. Wow, so you, so that block, hey, th this game is better than, uh, this game is better than Streets of Rage, because, because it's, it's more interactive, like, you see dude just threw him and shit like that, yeah, Jupiter Mark said you can't throw in this game, yeah, okay, yeah, I kind of got a little dose of it, Jupiter Mark, I just, I sent you a friend request. Yeah, this game is very interesting, fam. Like, you can block, uh, a, like, this game is crazy. Hunter P. Base in the building.
Yeah, the computer AI in this game is crazy. Shout out to Legum John for the positive words too. Shout out Floppy Tinder for the positive words. Hey, yeah, I, I actually think this game has better graphics than the uh, Streets of Rage and the Sega Genesis. Because, I mean, look how detailed this level is. Like, there's multiple, like, there's steps. You can kind of, you, you know, like, you can move and, you know, like, this game is pretty advanced. Let me know what y'all think about that. Hey, I can't imagine what the boss is like in this game because I mean this this is already pretty crazy Base cat said I bet this game is a lot easier to handle when you got a homie with you. That's facts That's facts box mill in the building Once again, this game this game is for two players, so
this game's a little bit slower. Um, well, now that I'm kind of getting into it, I don't, I can't technically say if this is better than like Streets of Rage and Sega, but I will say the re the the the, the, the how this game is slower. It feels like everything's more important, and it's kind of like a little more focused in this game. But it def, I respect that this game has a different feel than the other games. But they're coming from like the same type of family, you know? This game is so advanced, I will say this, like, this this looks like a boss, I believe, and it's like, the music doesn't even change up or anything, like, you just go right into it. You know, usually, like, Streets of Rage or something, it'll switch up. Very interesting. Yeah, I think the graphics might be better on this game. I think so. Even though, like, I, I love Sega and it's hard for me to admit that, I think the graphics are better on this game. I think so. Like, now, once again, when I'm saying I think, it's because I don't know. But I need y'all to give me an honest opinion. And if y'all have any, like, um, actual data you could bring up, Task Force data, if y'all could bring up some actual data comparisons, that will help out a lot. All right. Yeah, you definitely got to watch that uh, little B review of uh, GoldenEye. 007 GoldenEye. Lima Cat, I can't agree on the music part, but I will, I, I will agree with you. Oh, they do have a throw. They do throw in this game. Box mill with the new clip. Zad, Zaddy, uh, just sent you a friend quest, and yeah, I, I definitely believe you. Uh. Family, I kind of don't want to play this game anymore. It's, it's just so heavy. This game is so heavy, and uh, it's a bit slow. But, I mean, this is classic. And I'm going to be honest, like, I'm going to be totally honest. Now, obviously, I am feeling good right now. And obviously, we're having a historical night with, what, three back-to-back -back 100s? Uh, or two, two or three back-to-back. -back. But I got to be honest, fam. I got to get this game, like... I mean, yeah, it like it's slow, right? But I gotta get this game a hundred out of a hundred with a classic and legacy status. Like as much as I wanna like give this game a lower score because of how slow it is, right? But that's what kind of makes this game different from the other ones. You know, is like the speed the speed of the game, you know?
Hold on, fam. But, um, no, no. So, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, look, fam, if you got the Super Nintendo, you should add this game to your collection. It probably is fun playing it with somebody else. You, you, I, Look, I seen the computer just do a whole nother move I didn't even know how to do. So, obviously, this game is deep. Something is deep about this game. Uh, youth uh, said, damn, Lil B just missed the gift of subs. Hold on, who, who did I miss? Oh, youthful, gifting subs, youthful, just gifting subs. I ain't miss you, fam. Uh, box me with the new clip. Dre Dog 415 says, shout out Lil B. Bass God, I like that name. I know a Dre, I know Dre Dog is a legend from 415. I know that. Um So look, fam, like if uh Will I play this game again? I, I might actually play this game again in my real life. You feel me? I might play this game again in my real life. Like, something about... And, and I actually might play it with two player. Like, there's th something special about this game. Um, Will I stream this game again? Maybe. 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 Maybe, fam. Jupiter Mark said, what game you playing next? Wow, Jupiter Mark, you already... uh. How you know I wasn't done, family? How you know? I, I, but I like how you excited, family. I like that. And you know what? Just because that you showing that excitement, I'm going to give y'all the last game of the night. Or the day. Holla at me, Zadi. Uh... JD said, if Lil B need rest, he'll rest. Just sent you a friend request, JD. Um, look. We're going to end this off with a bang. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to play the game y'all probably would think I would, but I'm excited to try this out. I'm going to be uh, giving a re Lil B review for Alien vs. Predator for the Super Nintendo. I repeat, I'm going to be giving a little B review for Alien vs. Predator for the Super Nintendo. I'm excited for it. We're going to end strong. We're going to end this night strong and this day strong. We went in all day. We've been going in all day. Classic after classic after classic. Y'all, hey family, we're in a uh, this we're in a dynasty day. This this might not ever happen again. What? How many hundred? This what? This is four back to back hundreds. This was a special day in itself.